Hi, good evening. Uh, welcome back. Uh, so today we will see uh, the next part in uh, scikit learn C bar uh, visualization. So, so today we will be focusing mainly on uh, C bar uh, data visualizations. So yeah. So yesterday we have did our uh, all the preparation right all the data preparation so actually my runtime got disconnected so again i'm just uh, reloading uh, uh, everything so we have reading the data and we are just checking all the uh, sample data Yeah, so we just took our recap. So we are checking duplicates also and uh, the info, and then we, are, uh, we will be converting our data like number uh, columns uh, to uh, integer columns because. So now, if you see the info again. <coughs> Okay, so uh, here there will be int. So again, uh, the descriptive statistics, what we have seen, how many uh, maximum and minimum profits, so like, uh, zero revenue fillings we have seen. Multiple conditions, so using, <coughs> bitwise and operator and we have used query function and now we are using we will be using this uh, in data frame because we have dropped whatever which is not released uh, on the movies So this is just now if we just go back so what is cbot cbot is a data visualization tool which is built on top of matplotlib so we already seen how to uh, do uh, charts using matplotlib so here we will be using a cbot now so here we have given uh, the cbot link so i just go to this the main uh, statistical data visualization uh, main reborn uh, uh, official website you can see so uh, there will be documentation and tutorials everything you can just look at what exactly all this about so if i just uh, come back so now uh, let's start with a simple basic scatter plot. Uh, so already uh, importing statement we already added. So if you just go back to our uh, lab. So here uh, we are importing C bar as SMS. So here we are using alias. So now uh, simply to plot scatter plot we are just uh, we used to call pt dot plot right uh, so uh, so here we will be calling a scatter plot uh, method using sms dot scatter plot so So if we just call this scatter plot and data clean and using uh, which uh, for x axis the production budget versus uh, the world world cross. So how that uh, scatter plot looks like? Let's uh, see. So if you are not giving anything, okay, let me just add one more code here. Yeah. 
so this is a simple uh, is going to say uh, by default it will be giving uh, the label so what are the what are we provided so here data is so data clean data clean we have provided and x axis we have provided uh, in the production budget uh, column name and y axis we are providing gross column name so but again if we just uh, go further Can increase the size of the figure so for example uh, we are using uh, uh, carefully observe we can just use the plot axis and we're changing our figure size Uh, no, uh, yeah, we are not uh, as of now. Okay, on this PPT, we haven't set any access limit, but <coughs> we can simply uh, style it again. So, using uh, set uh, so y access limit, what is x access limit, y, y label, x label, and plot dot show. So, we are uh, if carefully observe, we are actually combining both matplotlib. Uh, syntax and as a seaborn syntax so both work in parallel so there is no need to again uh, another syntax uh, for seaborn uh, for defining for the uh, i meant to say styling of any graphs so we are use, directly using the matplotlib syntax only for the seaborn visualization source This is uh, that. So, so what we have did uh, here. Let me just show you again. So, without giving uh, access size, if we just uh, uh, give plot dot figure size, if we just increase that also. So our uh, scatter plot got uh, so we have increased our figure size so and, uh, this is PPI like uh, just like uh, dots per inch uh, already we have discussed about it you can just refer to back dated videos or back dated sessions I just haven't used plot dot show but uh, if you are using any other editor uh, you need to use plot dot show to show the graphs if you are using uh, jupyter or uh, collab so you don't need to call this but it is uh, a best idea to write plot dot show every time so that uh, this code will work wherever you are uh, trying to execute with respect of the environments or ids whatever we are using No, let's go. So, yeah, before we have uh, divided that axis into zero to three billion and uh, x limit uh, zero to forty five million, I think. Hundred millions, or two hundred millions. Budget hundred millions, revenue billions. So yeah. So now from scatter plot uh, to bubble chart. So why we are using a uh, 
seaborn is because of human size uh, parameters. So this is the main reason why we have uh, there is a seaborn data visualization tool. It's like uh, not the bubble chart I will accordingly differ depending on uh, our uh, human size. So for example, uh, this uh, hue is like the color it uh, depending on the intensity or uh, value it uh, it varies and even the size of the dot also varies so this is the next uh, part so here now we are calling hue on this one and size on this one like uh, size on old class grass the, the y-axis only so even hue also we are giving the same size also we are giving the same so and we are not changing anything here. The same thing remains, the stylings. So we are adding two more parameters. So that if you see uh, here in the graph, so intensity, depending on in intensity, so here it is saying, if it is a 2.5 uh, billion dollars, billion. So the intensity is here. So what if it is very less? So the intensity is something like uh, this one. And even the size will be uh, accordingly it will be uh, changed so high even if you see the small circles and the small dots bubbles so the size will vary accordingly and even the intensity will vary accordingly So because if you already seen this is uh, what we are seeing instead of so apart from this because we are seeing already this uh, is very dark so again we can style our uh, C burn shot again uh, differently so yeah with uh, using with keyboard so if you want uh, just uh, set uh, a dark grid so what exactly dark grid uh, will refer to let's see so here what a uh, next uh, part is so the uh, plot size uh, remains same so here uh, before this one this x-axis we are actually keeping uh, this one so we are using uh, this with statement because I want just to add only for that uh, single chart so not for every every chart whatever I uh, uh, hit right whatever I run uh, in the note notepad I want to say the notebook so so how we can uh, yes, so with uh, SNS seaborn uh, dot access uh, style so here we are giving a dark grid so yeah and uh, everything else remains same so yeah so there is nothing uh, difference you and size also remains same yeah so here at the dark grid if you see here actually it is uh, in the background it is uh, creating a uh, some dark uh, grids so it's like uh, uh, drawing some small small squares so it is actually a grid so in even in photography uh, whenever we on a grid uh, it actually identifies or uh, to place the object in the perfect grid so that's like uh, here with which grid it is uh, there so it is for example, it is around uh, 2.5 to 3.0 uh, grid where it is yeah, 4.1 like this. this one. So yeah, so uh, this 
so we have used uh, dark red red we can use white red also let's see how it works Yeah, now just in the background, we are not getting uh, the dark gray color, but we are just getting uh, white, white gray. If I just give dark. Now it is just a no grid, but it is just uh, everything is in the background. It is so we have only themes. So, yeah, so this is the default theme. So, white grid is uh, this uh, now. What are we have seen the white grid three? dark grid already we have seen and white is like everything will be uh, the background will be white and dark the background will be dark event text is just uh okay, let's text already we have seen what exactly text represents so here before we didn't got any uh, text right so whenever I just uh, change it to here the, the text marks are getting uploaded when if we don't give also and by default it will be plotted as uh, text so, If you just run for weight access style yeah no there is no text actually okay now the next uh, step so we have created a beautiful chart now Now, how we will be representing the three dimension in this chart? So it's like, uh, let's see. So here uh, there is a year, and here if you see uh, the intensity, the worldwide graphs. But uh, here we are actually uh, the budgeting. So before we are just plotting the budget and worldwide graphs. Just if you just go back, budget and revenue. But here. The next challenge is like we need to plot uh, according to year what is the budget and uh, depending on uh, budget what is the worldwide graph so here uh, our, uh, it's very simple so here we will be plotting uh, year and a uh, budget on y-axis but the hue and uh, size will be deferred accordingly so Yeah, right. So here the main changes x axis is really state we are plotting and y axis is budget. And again, uh, the bubble plot here uh, we are giving uh, worldwide graphs. So the hue and whatever uh, the size. So depending on uh, uh, budget, uh, it will plot, but the hue and size it actually differs according to the worldwide graphs. So the Y limit uh, now it got changed just to 4500 millions. 
the way before it is uh, let us check uh, 3 billion right so now it changes to 4500 million now x limit we are just uh, calling our release date what is the minimum what is the maximum date x uh, year budget 100 million the same thing just just try to have the same thing dark grid we have just uh, yeah so according you know, to uh, here actually it is uh, getting changed so here uh, for example in the year around 2000 something like 2008 so our revenue is uh, like a budget is 4.8 but revenue is also got increased so because this dot got increased even according to years so there's a budget very low budget uh, films also and uh, for example if this is uh, around 2000 it is having uh, getting more uh, I mean to say if you see it is uh, around 2 billion uh, like 2 billion yeah 2 billion uh, for 200 million we have got 2 billion uh, uh, gross so depending uh, on the intensity and the size of the bubble yeah it is very uh, informative so how uh, generally old vertices just exploded in the last 40 years so whenever we do some uh, analysis using uh, like this so and up to until it is the is to be the entirely different arise from 1970, the movies, releases, and budgets got growing. Yeah. After 2000, the data points are very high because after 2000, the movies got very increased. So this is how uh, we need to analyze using our bubble charts. Uh, this for this uh, scenario. Now the next part. So now in our global charts we have some massive industry, right? And so since our films out by a decade, here's what we are after here. So we, we want a uh, We want to add a new column, so yeah, that's uh, can create a data column. So let's go for our challenge. A film released in 1992 should have. So in that uh, decade, so for example, it is released in between 1990 and uh, 1991 to 1990. It should have 19,000. So that time index. So this is the another uh, interesting uh, aspect in pandas. Uh, uh, like uh, not in pandas but uh, time series analysis grab all the data uh, using the year property and we have to use the flow division and other decades as uh, data column so yeah let's go here so the date index is again and just uh, we are calling a date time index using uh, pandas or date time index uh, method and on which uh, column we are calling we are calling it and date so now what we are doing we are uh, setting years equal to date index dot year so we are just what uh, we are calling we are just calling the last uh, whatever the year it is having in that it will be uh, called so we just call constructor and provide the release column it has an initial date time object then extract all the years from the date time index And now the flow division is uh, nothing but for example if we uh, double uh, slashes so whenever uh, we divide with uh, by 2 it actually gives uh, 2.5 but whenever we do a flow division it gives just uh, the integer part of that uh, remainder uh, like the answer so it is called an integer division so 
so this is like effectively rounded uh, down actually so whatever uh, after decimal whatever you got eight nine or it actually round to or uh, two only not uh, the higher number whatever we have learned so for example if it is 2.6 it is generally it should be rounded to the next uh, integer like three but it is not so it effectively rounded to down downward rounding so here uh, because when we divided floor division by 10 it will actually returns us uh, 199 but if we want uh, what is the decade just uh, we have to multiply so now let's do the same thing so Just uh, for convenience purpose, we are calling. So now, what we are doing, we are dividing yes by a uh, lower division of 10, and we are multiplying with uh, 10, and we are creating a new decade column, and we are just For all the ticket column, we are just uh, giving what df data. That means dot hat. So let's see how our now the new one will looks like. So here it is like the decade 1915. It is actually 1910. Yeah, if it is 1920, it will be 1920. Yeah, if it is 1921. Also, it will be 1920. So, according to for a decade, so now we have segregated, we have created a decade. Now, the next challenge, let's go to the next challenge. So, we need to create two data frames old films and new films, which include all the films before 1970 up and including 1969. And new films including all the films onwards and this and how many films are released prior to this and how many part of the most expensive made prior to 1970 so let's uh, do all this now so it's simple right uh, we have to just uh, depending on decade column we have to I think it should be 1970. 1960. Include all the films before 1970. Up and include 1969. Okay, I think there is some issue. It should be 1969 which is less than or equal to 1969 and which is greater than or equal to 1969 so let's see how it okay 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 because we are using decade column right the decade column is again uh, so decade column is uh, again it's from 1960 to 1969 and it will take uh, if it is uh, 1970 it, uh, it comes to 1970 uh, so we are not uh, using a year column so we are using a decade column that's why we are using 1960 uh, so this to be uh, uh, careful yeah I just forgot so now all fields when we describe it So maximum budget is around uh, for two, I think 42,000, 42 million, 42 million dollars and uh, yeah, 390 million dollars. 
So we are only now sorting. So we need to check which is the because on the highest budget film we are just uh, sorting on a, a production budget column and we are just sending equal to false. So yeah. So what is that? We are uh, Cleopatra is exactly our uh, main. There are one fifty three films. See, I'm the uh, yeah, we are we having one fifty three films out of uh, our main data frame. Uh, around, uh, I meant to say. 5000 around 5000 uh, rows we are having just having only 153 films before 1970 yeah. uh, whenever we just uh, take for example new films also we describe So it's the 5,231 uh, new films are released after 1970, but before 1970, it is just only 153 films are released. So that's why even our scatter uh, bubble plot shows this more overlappings are uh, done after 1970. This is how to use a uh, bubble charts uh, and how to do analysis using a uh, bubble charts. Yeah. Uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow we will see uh, regression plots and then uh, we will be seeing uh, the remaining how to use scikit-learn to the linear regression. That's it for today. Thank you.